I did my PhD in optics about 30 years ago now and uh, uh, particularly in the development of miniature x-ray lenses called zone plates. Um, I have done postgraduate study in the field of astrophysics and in particular I looked at the hydrogen content of galaxies and tried to understand galaxy formation. During my PhD I was working on a novel carbon related materials in my postdoc I guess in my postdoc career I was looking at uh, diamond, looking at um, colour centres in diamond, optical properties and as such. My expertise is in quantum transport measurements in van der Waals heterostructure as well as topological materials. I also have experience in fabricating new type of van der Waals heterostructures. My PhD was in the field of ultra-cold quantum gases at Swinburne Uni. After graduation I worked for a couple of years at uh, Mog Labs. Uh, after that my laser experience helped me get into a postdoc at uh, ANU. And there I was working in the field of adaptive optics. Uh, the aim being to pre-compensate a laser beam before sending it into space. So I did a PhD in atomic and laser physics. I then have nine years of postdoc experience in universities in the UK and Australia, working on areas such as ultra-cold atoms and molecules, stable laser systems, ion trapping and quantum sensors. I recently completed my PhD studies in materials science and engineering at UNSW Sydney. I was studying ferroelectric materials attempting to exploit the electromechanical behaviour of lead zirconate titanate, or PZT, grown in thin films on silicon substrates via pulsed laser deposition. I have a background in chemical engineering, uh, and my research uh, basically focuses on heterogeneous catalysis and catalyst material that can be applied for um, energy transformations and environmental uh, decontaminations. Processes such as water purifications, hydrogen generations, hydrogen conversions, uh, synthetic fuel synthesis and CO2 utilizations are really of my heart interest simply because uh, I can find relevance of uh, what I'm researching and I can actually apply this concept uh, to address uh, real problems uh, in our society.